Everybody, how's it going? Thanks for coming. I'm glad you're here. Let me introduce myself. My name is Deanna Danielle, and I think I have a wonderful name. I'm named after my aunt. It's a beautiful thing, except I have a capital A. That's what I'm talking about. It's my mom. And let me just tell you, my name has gotten me a lot of interviews. A lot. I mean, I've been on so many interviews, I can't even count. Technically, that's kind of how I got this job. You know, so they they call me, they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't wait to meet you. Let's schedule an interview, you know, on a Monday, 2 p.m. You sound awesome. Love your resume. You're going to fit perfect here. So I go. You know, they're, you know, waiting. They come out. Uh, the end of the I stand up. They kind of look around me. Is she late? Is she, you know, what's going on? And I'm like, hi, I'm the end of Danielle. You're not white, 100 pounds with blonde hair. You're brown and brown with a wig. You know what? The position has just been filled. Like at, <laughs> at 159, we just filled it. Like, it literally, like, it's all expected. It's about a cousin. You know, so like, thank you for coming. Clearly, you saw the cookies, cakes, and pies at the table. And did you want a water or you want something with sugar? <laughs> Have a good time. And there's a Wendy's up the street. Just so, you know. All right, thank you. Georgia let me know that I was a nigga. I lived in White County, went to Whiteville High School, no niggas allowed. And I was sitting in class, learning Spanish, you know, Chalupa, Mickey Mill, things I really wanted to learn, <laughs> burrito, things in that nature. So, you know, I'm learning. White guy comes get me. He's got a black cop, so I figure it's cool. He's walking me down the hallway, talking to me. So, hey, you ain't living in Georgia. You know, you've been here for a year. I was like, you know, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's just getting used to, you know that. We get down in his room. His dark room is dim. And then, you know, I sit down. He closes the door. Immediately. So you stole the cell phone. I'm like, excuse me? We have our eyewitness saying, that you stole a phone and ran out the room. Now immediately, I knew this was a lie. Because I don't run in gym and it's required. I don't run when it's raining. I get soaking wet. So I knew, and I have asthma, and I'm extremely lazy. So stealing, now cookies, cakes, and pies. Yes, I stole them. I did it. I ate your stuff. All day, every day. I ate it. <laughs> That's this guy. I ain't stealing no phone because I'm from Bolingbrook, Illinois, where I didn't think I was a nigga. I already had a phone. So what did I need a phone for? I didn't. So, you know, after the smoke calmed down and everyone realized she really does only steal cookies, cakes, and pies, we have record of that. We've seen her in the lunchroom. Run around, take people's cookies, cakes, and pies off their trays and put them in a purse. You know, while walking away. No running. No running at all. Riskfully. I think that's it. I just stole my cookies, cakes, and pies. <laughs> no, I didn't. <sighs> so, 